because we got a lot of folk who say, you know, I've had a lot of bad things happen to me. <laughs> and it's causing me to question as to what well, God really going to bless me like he said he would. <laughs> but God promises our oh, sure. <laughs> Paul anchors us in, not in the storm, but he anchors us in coming out of the storm. <laughs> and see, the church, you don't know it now, but you're coming out of a storm. <laughs> it's time to rejoice and give God the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Paul go on to tell them that there are things that I even been through personally and that, that have not damaged my walk with God but has in strength strengthened my walk with God. He go on to say we all have been through some things and he used terminologies like I can do all things through Christ that strengthening me. What Paul was saying that these storms have come in this time of America not to cause the church to stop doing what God told us but it's time to anchor in and anchor down and let the devil know that I ain't going nowhere I'm going to be right here waiting on the promises of God and see what the devil don't know iron sharpens iron what the devil don't know all that you've been through God's been hoping and helping you all that you've been through even when you fell down you really wasn't down but great is he that is in me than he that is in the world I stopped by to tell somebody you down but you ain't out it's the 12th round and you may have had a TKO but I ain't out of the race I'm rearing now but I'm still able to walk with God it is a time in the church that we've got to anchor in now look over all that you've been through it's time to tell the devil write him an indictment letter and said I know you had me sentenced and I know I was doomed to zero but I want you to know that my God specializes in zeros he make heroes and when you're down he'll pick you back up what have you learned what have you learned what have you learned Paul said let me testify first he said I've learned that whatever state I've found myself I'll be thou content what did Paul really mean I've been shipwrecked beaten put in prison but I still got the love of Jesus I'm not angry at anybody because I feel like this was my lot one of the things that helps me through the hardest time of my ministry I had to come to the point where God set me here and if he wanted me to be a sacrifice for the kingdom of God I had to say so let it be if he wanted folk to step on me talk about me scandalize my name I had to recognize this was my lot I'm preaching to somebody who talk about somebody's holding me down you need to look to the hills for which come in your help and just realize that you got sandpaper up in the church and stop fighting your sandpaper stop trying to get rid of it and tell them keep on working on me because you're rubbing off the rough edges in my life I don't want you to leave my church because you don't like me but I want you to stay firm stay still because I need you to make this journey am I getting too spiritual for you some folks oh no I want my enemy to leave but let me tell you something on family and friend day if you want to go stronger shake hand with folks don't like you if you want to go stronger praise the Lord with folk who really don't want to praise the Lord with you it shows your power it shows what you have on the inside and you're growing